And, it's, and I, I love the approach with the film, with the cinemas um, as well. well I'll, I'll put all that in, in the piece. But um, yeah, I think that's, um, that's fantastic with all the, the regional cinemas getting, getting involved. You know, just giving them a chance to, to, to run with it up front. But I mean, it's a, it's a selfish pursuit, but it was one that sort of um, purpose fit everyone's needs. That was what, we, you know, it was literally just an equation that I, I thought I, I had a project, a darling project that I've been working on for 10 years, fall through. And I had, a, I had two choices. I, I thought, okay, that's it, I'm done. Or now I'm going to make a movie now. <laughs> and, uh, and Jamie's script sort of lobbed pretty much around that, that moment. And, uh, and I just thought, look, I know if I, in order to make a film quickly, if I go through the normal process that's expected of me in this country, that's, that's another four years. Mm. And I thought, is, is there, you know, and I, look, I thought back to Kenny and the, the, the process of, of making that film and distributing that film and what were the highlights and, and what were the, the moments that seemed to fast track the film being made and then sort of worked out a lot of a lot of the success of Kenny was was built around those regional cinemas and their connection to the film their personal connection to the film so it was just a it was a model that was based on giving them a first look uh, and in return ha establishing a relationship at a point that you never established with it like we basically had the cinemas on board before the, the, script, the script was written um, and um, and they were they were the first ones to dip their toe into the pond and of course once you have as soon as someone starts dipping their toe in the pond, others feel confident to do so too. So we really do have them to thank for the film being made as quickly as it did. And we, we are told by the funding bodies that it's one of the fastest turnarounds that they've ever had with a film. So And it kind of completes a circle for us because uh, us refuse us being here at this festival is kind of a validation of their trust. Mm. And we, we look at them as partners in the future, for the future slate. And very much we'll be talking to them in the coming months about the next project and our gut tells us is that they'll, they'll be saying yes mm. and wanting to support us because of what we said, we did. Mm. They sort of looked at us a little lot. We went up to the they, movie... They would love to hear from us yeah. again. <laughs> they, when we went up to the, we went up to the movie <laughs> convention where they, every year they all congregate to, to, to talk and look over all the product that's coming out the final it's year. The Gold Coast, The Gold it? Coast, yeah. yeah. Jupiter's and, uh, Casino. Great yeah. little, uh, great little uh, <laughs> jaunt up there. Well, so the we, Star now, isn't it? They've, they've, they've called up, it the, yeah, the Star... star. Yeah. Gold Coast. It's been taken over by uh, yeah, yeah. another company. I think. But what was great about going up there was that, of course, you know, when I first came up with the model, I thought, oh, God, I've got to now travel all the way around Australia. I thought, no, no, they all congregate mm. to the one place. So what was fascinating was telling them our idea and that we were going to make it, you know, very quickly. And they all had that look in there. I've never been in the industry long enough to know that, you know, when, when anyone ever says to me, I've got this script I'm working on, my brain just says, see in 10 years. Yeah. You know? so <laughs> my, um, but even you said that with people will tell you they've written a script for you and you never hear from them. No, never hear from No, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So um, so when we were explaining the model, they, they their eyes were sort of rolling back in their head a little bit. But they kind of, whether they were humouring us or at all, I don't know, <laughs> but they went with it. Yeah. It was a great thing to turn up one year later mm. and actually have a finished trailer that we showed them. They couldn't believe. And this time we moved into the penthouse and we had a script. We actually turned it into a screening room, like you would in Cannes. Yeah, it was great. So mm. it was good. And they and they didn't they they loved. And an interesting part of that process that Clay triggered with them was, what do you think about this this trailer? What what would you do? What is the right time to release mm. it? What little, what little advertising pearls can we throw you to help build the community and the audience? Yeah, they've actually been quite instrumental in a lot of the marketing, marketing material because they're not often heard. They, the regional cinemas don't often get much say in how things are marked. They usually sent a box. <laughs> okay, we've done our city run. Here you go. There's all the material. Good luck with it. Um, what was great... With, so I was sort of talking about how would you like to see the film? So they were very savvy. They said, look, Kenny was a comedy. This is very dark. Don't just go straight into dark. If you can kind of massage the material. Mm. So if we can get four trailers, and please don't give us anything over a minute long, right? Mm. Um, in fact, we would prefer it if there was anything from sort of 20 seconds to, a, you know... Or even a six-second bonus. Yeah, they, they, mm. they, want, they want, I've never heard that before in cinemas. So I went, okay, great, let's do that. And so we, we did that. And then they, they said, look, Star Wars is coming out over Christmas. It'd be great if there was something that could kind of connect with that. So we did this little spoof film that we sent out to all of their um, cinemas talking to their patrons and mm. it, was, it looks like it's the back of Darth Vader and you can hear him breathing <laughs> and then it's suddenly my hand on his shoulder and I'm going you're right Shane he turns around and he goes no I'm not you know uh, what, and he's, he's having a conniption you know what if no one comes to see this film you know Kenny was a comedy this is a dark film what if they well, come on, so you're going to have to relax he goes relax and I slap him 
and um, and then it just cuts. You know, it's, uh, it just says, you know, the Jacobson brothers are looking forward to uh, our, new, our new movie coming out your way. So these little teasers and doing them bespoke to each area. So you know, about the the fellow who owns uh, Ballarat and Bendigo, or yeah. the sort of that's you know, it's talking to that that for mm. that greater regional community as well. So. Getting them in to see Australian film is an important thing, and I love the work you're doing. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And um, we'll see you back in Australia, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank man. you.